first song, if you remember, that you wrote for Kinky Boots, and talk a little bit about how you tried to get into it, your way into it. I went back and listened to all my favorite musicals. My mother always listened to Rachmaninoff, you know, dun, 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 right? It was always very dramatic. So I thought that the most beautiful thing should have a little of Rachmaninoff mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. So I put, and the defining element is in these shoes, you know, and then he said they have to, that, sh that the shoes have to have a sound. So I was thinking, a harp. Every time you see a great pair of shoes, a harp from heaven should come down. Because, you know, if you like shoes, I like shoes. <laughs> and I understand, you know, it was a lot of stuff that pulled me to this story. You know, mm. the fashion alone, I love fashion. Mm. I love shoes, I'm not a Melga Marcos. But I, I started to put it together like that in unorthodox ways. And I think still on my iPhone somewhere, I think I have the voice memo of uh, Nicola but she, I thought she was very Billy Joel yeah. to me. That's how she'd sound. Well, she wasn't really, okay. because in the end, the melody that I sang. So all of this, <laughs> she takes all of this thinking, and I don't know how, because I would probably die. <laughs> she somehow mixes all of this up, and out comes a song that's very cohesive, as you, yeah. you've heard it, yeah. that tells the story in an opening number of each one of these characters defined by shoes. Mm -hmm. The audience totally gets it. They hear each one of those individual voices as an individual mm -hmm. voice, and it's wonderful. But how it comes from that to this. I know, you think I'm crazy. That's why I don't really I don't tell think anybody. that. Yes. I know it. <laughs> <laughs>